This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. And by House Call Pro. If you're still handwriting invoices or using any kind of paper for your business, it's time to get with the times and check out House Call Pro for dispatching, scheduling, invoicing, estimates, texting customers to let them know that you're on the way, and texting them to let them know when the job is complete, accepting payments, whether it's cash, check, credit, or credit card processing. Check out House Call Pro. For a free demo, go to www.housecallpro.com forward slash Israel HVAC for a free demo and a discount on the product. Hey guys, how we doing? So I just wanted to uh, shoot this video. You know, one of the things that I had got on a while back was helping out new guys in the trade. And I kind of want to try to continue that trend. You know, there's been a lot of talk through the years on YouTube and the HVAC community about certain tools some guys have even went as far to say if you don't have a particular tool, you're a hacker, you're not doing your job right or whatever. And I know that as a young tech that's just starting out because I've been there, it can be hard to gather up money to, you know, come up with some of these tools. So I don't want you guys thinking if this one says, you know, if you don't have this, you're no good. If you don't have this, you're no good. You know, don't listen to that. You take like the I-Manifold, for instance. Everybody was for the I-Manifold, for the I-Manifold. Now you don't even hear about it anymore on YouTube. Um, ever since a certain individual left I-Manifold, you don't hear anything about it anymore. And people are not even using it anymore. I haven't seen an, anybody use an I-Manifold on a YouTube video in I don't know how long. So... Guys, there are three tools that I take to every service call. Now, I'm going to be talking mostly residential here because I'm in the residential market. If you're doing commercial, you know this is probably not going to be that great for you. But these three items right here I take to a service call on residential. Most of the time, I can get the job done with just these three items. You take, for instance, one of the, one of the things you're going to do the most as a residential service technician, you're going to change out capacitors. And contactors or you know stuff that's going to be most of your work on a condensing unit during the summer as a residential technician i can do that job with these three items right here when i get out of the truck i don't take a bag with me anymore actually you know what it's going to be four items and i'll explain why all these items fit in my back pocket okay i don't I don't carry my wallet with me on jobs. I hide it in the truck. So I have two back pockets. I can fit these, the three tools, and then the other, which is the meter, the other item, which is the meter, I hold that in my hand. So these four, three or four items, however you want to do it, I choose to do four. I can knock out a contactor, a capacitor, most everything, okay? So those items are, of course, and this is, you know, to help on a budget. Now, you can't do your entire job with these tools, you know, but you can get a lot done with these four items. Is a meter. You know, you, you have to have a meter. New guys, look, if you don't have a lot of money, I, su I, su I su suggest that you spend money on a good meter. You want to have a good meter? I like field piece. There's nothing wrong with fluke. Fluke is fantastic. I just think for, H for HVAC, field piece is the way to go. That's just my opinion. This particular meter is the SC640. I love it. It's got the swivel head, but we're not here to, you know, talk about all that. I have a meter, a wire stripper. I can strip wire, use these as needle nose. And again, this is, you know, if you're not checking refrigerant or anything like that, that. I have the Klein 8 and 1. Okay? 5 16 You unscrew this. Push it down. It's quarter inch. You take it out. Reverse it. You got a fillip and a flat. A 3 8 nut driver if you pull this out. A Schrader core tool. So, now, 
The other one I carry is just a reversible Klein quarter inch and 516. The reason I carry this one too is because you're probably thinking, well, if you have this, why are you carrying this? Because if certain capacitor brackets, you take like ICP, for example, is, is the main one. This, and it's a quarter inch screw. This one will not get on the on the screw because the screw's like right up against the bracket because this right here is too fat. So it, you can't really, I mean, you can, but it, you really have to fight it to grab the screw. So that's when this one comes into play. I reverse it over to quarter inch and this will grab that screw much easier without a fight. But for the most part, you can use this, this, and this. And I do a lot of my service calls during the summer with just those items in my back pocket. And then, of course, I like to carry this one in case this is too fat to reach a uh, particular screw. That's it. With those four tools, you can get a lot done. I mean, you can, I, like I said, I do a lot of work with just those four tools. Um, some of you on here probably say, you know, there, there's no telling what kind of comments I'll get. I really don't care, but it's the truth. And there's another guy that does it on here, and that's Ted Cook. Ted Cook carries uh, almost this exact uh set of tools when he does it i mean you know it's just but it's it's all up to you i don't like to carry a big gigantic bag to every job you know now if i know if i know i'm about to get into something where i'm possibly going to have to run back and forth back and forth that's different i'm going to take a bag and i have i have you know the mb2 with several tools in it and then i have the uh let's see if i can the uh MCT tech tech MCT you know so if if I have to go that route I have these two bags and I'll take them if I know I'm going to get into something you know really heavy but if I know you know that I'm going to a condenser and I know I'm you know I mean not no but you know you think okay what's well, probably just a bad cap or something I start off with this man and most of the time it's all I need to get the job done all right, well, I don't want to drag on the video too long. I just thought I'd shoot that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You can text me at 225-308-1740. Uh, I'll put the phone number up here. And uh, you can also email me at jisraelhvac at gmail.com. I'll put the email somewhere here as well. Thank you for watching. And uh, like I said, please comment, let me know what you think, and feel free to text me or email me. We'll see you guys on the next one.